I get the weird requests. Last year, when I was famous, I got a weird request. You can laugh, it's okay. I've accepted it, it's over. You can laugh. No, seriously, last year I got this weird request from a fan. My agent called me one day, and he was like, Vinny, some woman wants to know how much it's going to cost for you to walk her down the aisle at her wedding because you remind her of her dead father. So we gave her a price. I'm a whore. But a crazy price, too, because I really didn't want to do that. And she said yes. She said yes. I want to know what that conversation was like. Okay, so we're not going to do the buffet because we've got to give Vinny $50,000. I also want to know at what point did she have this like moment of clarity that I reminded her of her father? Was she sitting there watching season two, Jersey Shore, Miami? I come on the TV screen and I'm like, I don't want girls studying for finals. I want girls studying for dick. That's my dad. That's him. That's Papa, God rest his soul kidding me? Fuck that shit. Uh, I still live at home with a roommate. Uh, her nickname is Mom. Uh, yeah, my mom couldn't be here tonight. Um, she wouldn't miss her baby boy's comedy debut, but she had to stay home and bake bread. Um, <laughs> only Italian. Any Italian people in the house tonight? Yeah. Bell, bell. yeah. You know the deal. Italian mothers, like the priority list, it's like her money, her kids, and then bread. Bread is at, like, the absolute top. No, but I live at home with my mom. Um, I got, like, the side apartment. She got the upstairs gangster shit. And uh, someone asked me the other day, like, Vinny, why do you still live with your mom? I'm like, do you remember how awesome it was like when you were 12 years old? Why not recreate that whole situation? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm talking about. If you can drink that Guinness out of a Capri Sun pouch right now, you'd be all over that shit. The life of a 12-year-old... Minus school plus sex equals awesome, okay? That's math even I can do. Who wouldn't want to have a threesome and then build a fort? You know what I'm talking about? You can do it a lot quicker with an extra set of hands, too. You know what I mean? Speaking of little kids, I, uh, I hang out with my 14-year-old cousin a lot. I'm a loser. You can, it's, it's true. Um, he just got a girlfriend, but he doesn't call her his girlfriend. That's his bae. That's what the kids are saying now, bae. I'm like, yo, what does bay stand for? He's like, it means before anything else. I'm like, you're 14, before what, homework? <laughs> when you're my age, you're not gonna want a bay. You're gonna want a bagel. <laughs> with cream cheese. <clears throat> Someone just clapped for cream cheese. <laughs> so, <laughs> cream cheese gets more of a clap than Vinny from Jersey Shore. I have one more friend, I hang out with my friend, uh, the gay friend, and he's always trying to get me to go to gay clubs with him, but gay clubs don't intimidate me, okay? A bunch of muscular guys dancing with their shirts off, sweating in a circle, listening to house music reminds me of any night at the Jersey Shore, okay? That's what I do. I went to the gay club and I met the one straight girl there because I don't know what it is with girls and gay guys, but she found out that he was gay and she was just like, feel my tits. And I'm just like standing there in the corner. I went to go get her a drink. I come back. She's hooking up with my gay friend. She's making out with him. And I'm like, he doesn't want you. To him, your vagina looks like the mouth of Predator. <laughs> if he took off your pants, he'd be like, everybody get down. We have to go back to the manhole. The manhole. Is that a gay club? Is that a gay club? Turquoise shirt, you know. Is that a gay club? Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm a guido. I lost my man card a long time ago. 